Well, it is a beautiful arena, isn't it? St. Jakob's Halle here in Basel. Four courts in action. And it really is presented quite beautifully. A wonderful, wonderful place to play. And as Morton was saying earlier, hardly any drift in this stadium, which the players will love. Well, we've got a total of 12 matches for you today. And we've had eight already. And next up is women's doubles. And it features the Indonesian pair of Yulfia Baka and also Fatila Sugiato up against the Thai pair of Putita Supervirakun and Sapsari Teira Tanachai. After that, we will have uh, two more men's singles. And Kadambi Shrikant, the number seven seed, up against the 19-year-old Nat Nguyen, who represents Ireland now. And then we finish with the number two seed, Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. What a year he has been having up against the veteran Dane, Hans Christian Vitus. So plenty of action still to come. And as far as the women's doubles is concerned, this is the second quarter of the draw. And the winner of the match we are about to see will play against the 2017 winners, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fun. When they won their gold medal, in Glasgow two years ago, they became the first ever pair in any of the three doubles disciplines ever to win the World Championships, having been World Junior Champions. We'd had several individual players who had been gold medalists at the junior level, but never a pair that played together in juniors and then won the series. So what a wonderful moment that was for the Chinese pair. But here we can see the two pairs in the women's doubles that we're about to watch. And I can tell you that as far as the Indonesians are concerned, uh, they have never won a title. But they've been in a couple of quarterfinals this year. As far as uh, Super Jirukun and Teyura Tanachai are concerned, uh, they have been in nine finals and they've won three titles. Very tall player is Supajirakun. As you will see when she stands next to the other players on court. In fact, you can already see that, can't you? She's a very tall athlete indeed. Six foot tall to be precise. And as far as the Indonesians are concerned, Baka and Sugiato. Sugiato, a very famous name world of badminton because it was Itruk Sugiato that won the World Championship Men's Singles Gold Medal in Copenhagen in the third World Championships in 1983. This is the first meeting between these two pairs, so no form to go by. Uh, but as far as the Indonesian pair are concerned, they won a medal at the World Junior Championships in Bilbao three years ago. Then they split up because Sugiato, in junior terms, was a year older than her partner. I do beg your partner. Of course, I've got that the wrong way round, giving you duff information. It was Barker that's the older of the two. <laughs> Daft information. Yes. There she is, she's 21. From Medan, the capital of North Sumatra in Indonesia. 172. Oh, five foot eight. And their highest ranking. Five places above where they are right now. So to Drosa Fadhila Sugiato, 20 years of age. And Morton, perhaps you can help me out here. I think she's the youngest of the three children of Ichuk and Nina Sugiato. Yes, I yeah. think so too. Yeah. Not 100%, but 
98. Yeah. So, they are playing in their first World Senior Championships, whereas this Thai pair are playing their third World Championships as a combination. They were the number 15 seeds in Jakarta, Jakarta where they lost in the second round. And Super Jira 23 years of age, born in Pisanulo, one of the oldest cities in Thailand. Her partner is a little older, Sapsasri Tirat Tanachai, 27 years of age, born in Udon Thani in North Thailand. And as you saw, their highest world ranking was nine, a total of ten weeks at number nine, but currently number 22 on the world ranking as we look at our court officials for this one. Jakob Simbo, our service judge for this, and Stephen Ong of Malaysia, the umpire. Uh, but there's a very good reason why the Thai pair are so much lower than their highest ever ranking, and that's because Teurat Tanachai in the final of the Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur two years ago, very badly injured. There she is, her left knee. ACL injury. And I know all about that. She's done very well to come back to the dizzy heights in world badminton, which she has done in the mixed doubles discipline currently at a career high of number four on the world rankings. Oh, good smash. Yeah, that's a good start. Yeah. I think she must probably be the tallest player in the women's doubles discipline now that the Danes have retired. Yule, Camilla Ruti yeah, was six it, foot, wasn't she? She was, but... Uh, well, she still is six foot. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but, but I, I thought about Gloria from Indonesia. Doesn't play women's doubles. But you said women's doubles. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you safeguarded yourself I that did. one. Yes, you I did. I did deliberately. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I still think that Petita is probably a little bit higher, a little bit taller. Yeah, it's another good smash from Petita. Super Gigantic. Well, we were talking earlier, Morton, about Indonesia's record at World Championships, especially in the men's singles. Well, they've medalled so often. Six World Champions, six different players from Indonesia in the men's singles, but they are one of only five countries who've medalled across all five, five disciplines, but they've never won gold in women's doubles. Back in 1980, they came second, didn't they? They've twice won the silver medal, you're right. Yeah. Virawati and Imelda. Hey, Imelda did it, yeah. In Jakarta in yeah. 1980. And the other time? Ooh. I'll give you a big clue. The first time the World Championships was staged in Switzerland. In Lausanne. In Lausanne, yeah. 24 years ago. 
Oh, I can't remember. Lily Tampi and Fanashi. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Difficult to tell from the angle we're sitting, Morton. Was that a loose serve or was it just because Putita yes. is so tall and has such a reach that she pounced on it? Yeah, we're sitting way up under the roof and it, it's actually really tricky to gauge everything around the net. Yeah. So it's not just me. No, no, no. It's, it's very, very tricky to see anything around the net, whether it's a tumbling shot or it's a serve and return and all that, it is very tricky yeah. to see. That said, we do have a beautiful view of the entire arena. We have. We have. Keep an eye on all four courts. <laughs> Good attack. Yeah. Well played. Good follow up. But when I was checking up on this uh, women's doubles yeah. earlier today, I must say I was surprised to see that uh, the Thailand pair is only number 22 in the world because I've, you know, I feel it's a good pair. So I started looking at the results for the full year. And obviously they did really well in January. Thailand Masters winners. Ta winners. But apart from that one, it's, it's been first, second rounds, almost every single one of them. At one stage, I was thinking maybe uh, Tanachai was focusing more on the mixed doubles and therefore she maybe not had played so many women's doubles and so on. But as I was checking down the line, in every single tournament she played mixed doubles, she played women's doubles as well. Yeah. You're right, they've played 11 tournaments this year, one title, yeah. and 10 first or second round losses. Yes. So it did surprise me, I must yeah. say, when I was checking up. I, I think actually we're being a little harsh because when you look at who they've lost to, in the Malaysian Masters, they lost to uh, Poli and Rahayu, yeah. they reached the final. In the German Open, they lost to the pair that reached the final. In the All Englands, yes, they lost to the quarter-finalists, the Stover sisters. Yeah. Malaysia, they lost to the pair that got to the final. In uh, Indonesia, they lost to the pair that won it. So they've been losing to pairs so that what have got... So what you're telling me is... They've had tough draws. Yes. And what because they're not seeded any longer, they've had really tough draws. Yeah. Of course, this is on the joking side. Yeah. If you play them and win, it means that you go to the final. <laughs> <laughs> But I agree with you, yeah. that's tough draws. It is. I know exactly what you're trying to say. Yeah. And it just shows how important it is to get up into the top eight in the world so that you get a seeded position. Because this basically is the only tournament that we have this year where we have 16 seeds. Yes. Where we have draws of 64. Yeah. So this all. Great interception from yeah. Barker. Yeah, she had a few chances and she missed the first two. Yeah. And then she got the third one. And timed it beautifully. Well taken from Teirat Tanachai. 
And the tie pair go to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage. Yeah, it's nicely put away, that was sharp. OK, Morton, my first quiz question for you for these World Championships. That was double quick time, wasn't it? Just seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes, yes. Thai players have won three World Championship medals. Of course, Rakshanuk Intanon yes. in women's singles, 2013. Mixed doubles, Sarah and... Sarah Lee. Yeah, and... Uh, Sudkip pra Prakamal. Thank you. <laughs> right, I'm going to have to come up with some much trickier questions because you're just far too sharp on that. I'm having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good day. And certainly so far, Super Jirakun and Teira Tanachai are having a good day. Six. Play. <laughs> Do you know the years, though, Morton, when they won their bronze medals? Ah, now you're pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> it was maybe... 2006, 7, 8, 9, I can, I can give you one point. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually 2005 in Anaheim and yeah. 2006 in Madrid. Well, oh, I was pretty close. You were very yeah. close. Six. That's it. I'm coming up with some stinkers later <laughs> on in the week. <laughs> <laughs> I like that expression. <laughs> What have this Indonesian pair got to do? Because, they're, they're, to me, at the moment, they're just not really putting their opponents under enough pressure. No, they have to move uh, Petita from side to side on the back line. And, uh, of course, try to isolate uh, Tanachaya at, at the front. She's very good at the front. But if you can play to the back line and really move Petita on the back line, and, and perhaps uh, the um, counter-attacking opportunities is getting greater. surprised at the challenge, I have to admit, Morton. Yeah, but sometimes it works in mysterious ways. Yeah. And that's why I'm surprised at the challenge. Yeah. Yep. Challenge was successful. One challenge will be winning. So we saw seven, four, three. That's where you've got to be careful. And then where you see the skills of Tarat Tanachai at yeah. the net there. Of course, from the mixed doubles as well. Yeah, which is a player, which is a rarity nowadays, who has played all three disciplines. In fact, the only player ever to have won titles at Grand Prix gold level across all three disciplines. Yep. That was really well noticed. First time I saw her was in Singapore in 2010 at the Junior Olympics. At the Youth Olympic Games, yeah. where she, she won, won gold. She won gold in women's singles. Yeah. Once again, Teirat Tanachai making the difference at the front of the court. Incidentally, Morton, she also created history at world tour level earlier this year, didn't she? 
in the Thailand Masters, the first female player ever to contest two finals at the same tournament. We've had a player win the doubles double. Well, yeah. that was last year. That was Wang Chi Lin in New Zealand, wasn't it? Yeah. But the first player to contest two finals in the same World Tour event. World Tour event. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wonderful smash there by Petita. Really, really well played. I like the fact that she's just not going mindlessly down the middle, but actually trying to find some good angles and keep it side, to the sidelines as well. I think that's really nice to see. Yeah, good variation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good skill too. So well, certainly at the moment, they're a class above the Indonesians, they aren't are. they? They are. Skill-wise, Tarat Tanachai is really very, very high up on the list. Yeah, well taken from Sofira Baka. Oh. Oh, that's good defensive work there by Sukiyato, got that one behind the back. But I would possibly start flicking a few services if I was uh, the Indonesian combination. As you very rightly pointed out, Petita is reaching this one very early and adding on a lot of pressure. Oh, I thought that might have been a double hit. Yeah, I thought that was a touch on it. That's amazing. What a great smash from Putita. I know it's not easy to flick a, a tall player like Putita, but still, I think that it could be an option. Mm. And see if, if the reply is not so good, maybe there's a counter attacking opportunity in it. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. I like that. Good awareness from Sugiyato. This is a better rally, good rally. Yeah, that's nice. You see, that what happened was that Petita was moved from side to side on the back line uh, from the lift from the two Indonesians, which I think was clever. And then, of course, this block shot guided into that open area, which I think, of course, is a nice counter-attacking shot. Yeah, found the gap well. Maybe this is a start of a little of a comeback from Baka and Sukiyato 
And maybe they can follow through in, in the second game and it can be very better contested, if yeah. you can say that. Yeah. Game point opportunities, though, for Super Girakun and Teirak Danachai. Yeah, I think if they just, well, the way they've played now towards the end of this second game, they're giving themselves a bit of belief for the start of the second. They're kind of working their way into the match, yeah. I think. So maybe from the start of the second game, it could look a lot, lot better for, for Baka and Sukiyata. This time, the Thai pair converts opening game 21-14 to Putita Supergirokun and Sapsori Teiratanachai. Yeah. Spotted that she was committed to the backhand defence, aimed towards the right shoulder. Yeah. Just couldn't get herself ready in time. So opening game, 21-14. 19 minutes of play. <laughs> Their coach, Tassana Panvisvas, the gentle giant. Yeah, he was a very good men's doubles player. He was, wasn't he? Sort of the early generation of the Thailand players of the new generation, if you can say that. He was yeah. one of the first ones with Sara Lee, yeah. and they were kind of the first batch that really sort of made Thailand what it is today. Yeah, yeah, I agree. players back on court as the umpire was calling 20 seconds that's always a sign that the players should make their way back onto court but they're already back on court also two very experienced coaches here in play in Kyan on the Indonesian bench as well Olympic bronze medalist Flande Limpale Top, top, top men's doubles player. Yeah. Morton, we were talking during that opening game about the Thai pair and how they've won one tournament, apart from that 10 first or second round losses. But I've just been checking the form coming into these World Championships of Baka and Sugiato. They've lost in the first round of their last six tournaments. I know. That was my next one. So you you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> because I checked that as well this morning. Yeah. And uh, yes, you're right. They haven't done much better than the other pair. Yeah, certainly not in recent tournaments. No. Nope. Haven't won a match since the Badminton Asia Championships in April. In April, yes. And that does affect players coming into a tournament like this. I mean, it cannot be underestimated how confidence can benefit any athlete in any sport. And when you don't have that confidence because you haven't been winning matches, it obviously has a detrimental effect. It has. 
sort of start and disbelieving that it's actually possible. what you were saying about the Indonesians had sort of played themselves back into the rallies in the latter stages. I think probably the start to this second game it's is crucial. vital. It's crucial. Yeah. Because if they don't make a good start, they'll get dispirited once again. And it works two ways. Uh, your opponent is, is getting the, the confidence and the belief that, you know, this is possible and... and start to relax in, in, a, in a positive way so the, the shots are flowing more nicely and you, you tend to play shot. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a good one. Okay. Because you have that more relaxed wrist and so on. Yeah. out. But that was a very, very nice, constructive, flat attacking lift from Tyrat Tanachai there. And it was just above racket height of uh, the front player and into the deep corner. And that's forcing the error. Oh, yes, that's super. It's not just her skills, Teorat Tanachai. I think she's got a great tactical brain. She knows where the gaps are. She knows where to place the shuttle. And there is Eng Hyang. Yep. Calm as usual. Yeah. the longest rally of the match so far. I think it is. Oh, well taken once again from Satsuri. Yeah, indeed, it was the longest rally. Seven straight points. Yeah, it's a good lead. Very, very good lead. Oh. Yeah. And it can be dispiriting for a young pair when you're playing good rallies already in this second game. We've had the longest rally at 48 shots. We've had a rally at 24 shots. And if you get no reward for your hard rallies, i.e. not winning the points, it can be a little bit dispiriting, but that's where experience comes in. You've got to stick with it. 
you've got to believe in your game plan. And you. and I think you, as much as we, we praise uh, Sapsari Tanachai at the net, I also think that she's very... Um, she doesn't like when deceptive shots are coming at the net. So if you're holding it and then changing the direction of the shot, then she have a tendency to continue and just cover one side of it. Yeah. And that's where you can create gaps, but I'm not sure that the two Indonesian players have got that ability at the net to do so. Not got the ability or not got the confidence to try it. Maybe a bit of both. A bit of both, I would say. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Jump smash from Setting Petita. up partner very, very nicely. And that's a miss. And she knows. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You talked about the counter-attack. Yeah. Got to be more forceful in, in their counter-attacking opportunities, and this is a nice one. It's really well played from Barker. But to play good counter-attacking shots, here we had a very good example that the defensive stance is too far back. And the two Indonesians have to pu push up, let's say, one metre on court in order to be able to play more counter-attacking shots faster. But that also means that to, they have to react quicker. Good pace to the rally. Yeah, well played. does tend to be a little over committed on her defence, Sugiato, doesn't she? Yeah, but in, in this case, I actually think it was Barker. She's got the, the backhand and she's got to cover the centre of the court. And uh, she hesitated too. So Sugiato probably shouldn't even have gone for it anyway? No. Okay. Not, not in my opinion anyway. Okay. Well taken from Sugiato. Yeah, really rushing in well. Here. Yeah, look That's how it. she just brushes over the shuttle. Well played. That's amazing. That was a nice save. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure she was even watching the shuttle as she placed that. I think she had her eyes fixed forward and just had the spatial awareness to know exactly where the shuttle was coming. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, that was a good save. Yeah. To the mid-game interval with the exact same scoreline as we had in the opening game at the mid-game interval. A five-point advantage for Super Girako and Teira Tanachai. saying to the Indonesian pair right now because their their backs are against the wall it is I would put my defensive stance forward take the risk take the risk step in step into it one meter forward and I know that the pressure from uh, is especially from Putita is, is very very strong However, if you put it forward, that defensive stance, that give you much, much better opportunities when it comes to the, uh, the counter-attacking shots. And they have to do something. So that's the one thing you'd focus on? I would focus on that one. And normally when you go in and do coaching, if you spread the thoughts too many and say, oh, do this, do that, and give them five, six different things to do, they can't remember. Stick on one, perhaps two. Yes, good awareness from Sugiyata. Knew where the gap was. Oh, behind the back. And again, a second time. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ran out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. One. Two. Yeah, now she's too far back in court, can't get the block. Uh, yes. <laughs> and that's what happens in mixed doubles sometimes when she's pushed too far back, then yeah. there's this gap at the front. My left. Indonesians wanted the shuttle change. The umpire says to the type pair, do you want to change it? They say no. Um, because they've got the serve, the umpire tends to... Favour that. And rightly so. Rally. Oh my goodness! What Completely miss. missed it. Yeah, what a miss! Completely missed it. But it must be said that this one here is very tight. Look at this. It just managed to drop below the tape. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably feeling embarrassed more than anything. much better now and before we go any further I think I ought to explain my comment just a moment ago about the umpires favoring the player 
or the pair with the serve. And the reason I said rightly so is because it has been known in badminton that a pair that loses a rally or a player that loses a rally feels, oh, that's not a winning shuttle. I want to change it. I'm going to get a new one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You are so right. that's hence my comment. Yeah. There was a, an explanation to it. Yeah. A logical explanation. But you're very right. Uh, a lot of players getting unhappy about it and uh, just changes for the sake of changing. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Placement again. Good variation from uh, Super G Rakun. I was interested by the reaction there from Putita. Me too. Yeah. A big celebration, which means that she's not fully confident that this match is in the bag. No, no. And as you say, it was 10-12 or 12-10. So it's, it's getting, you know, yeah. pretty close. And you usually say it's becoming believable. Yeah. Oh, challenge here. Well, they challenged once in the opening game and were way off mark with their challenge. Yeah. I think that one was certainly closer. It's very close. At least from up here. Yeah, and that was a very good challenge. Very good challenge. So it's a five point cushion now for the tie combination. We've seen spells from this young Indonesian pair that tell me that they're certainly got potential. I, I think that Eng Hyang, uh, his return to Indonesia and uh, being looking after the uh, women's doubles, I think he's made a big difference. Yeah. And uh, a lot of uh, Indonesian women's doubles pairs are definitely coming up and this is uh, just another one of the young ones coming up. And I think he's done a great job. Yeah. Returned after being in Singapore. Being in Singapore, I can't yeah. remember how many years ago, but let's say four or five years ago. I can't yeah. remember. Looking pretty relaxed now, isn't he? And this was <laughs> looking around at other courts, seeing what's happening. Oh, she could have put that away, Barker. Yeah. Good pressure from Super Girocon. Yeah, she's yeah. quite well at the front. But once again, hesitation from Barker on that uh, defence in the centre.
left two points away from a place in the second round for Super Jurgen and Teora Danachai Beauty. That is the <laughs> shot of the day. <laughs> My goodness me, just swayed her body out of the way and as cool as you like, just guides it across court. Perfection. What a way to bring up match point opportunities. It's a good angle from Sugiato. Yeah, Sugiato has uh, been the better player of the two Indonesians today. She's more creative, more proactive, possibly harder hitting, finding the gaps. She's been the creative of the two today. There was one of the counter-attacks that you've been after. And it came from Sugiata. Yeah. She did really well on that cross one there, setting up partner very nicely. And good to see she's not going down the centre. block. So, the tie combination of Kutita Supergirakum and Sapsari Tera Tanachai. Coach is already off. Why not? He's probably got other players that are about to come onto court. And his women's doubles pair safely through to the second round. Some of 14, 21, 15 in a match lasting 46 minutes. So he'll be pretty happy. Van Visvas with these two ladies. Because that was a good performance by them. But the former world champions, Chen and Jia, await them in the second round. Ten, ten. 